<laughs> you going cuckoo crazy sauce right now. You, you, you see the view. Culture gang. Culture gang. Culture gang. Culture brothers out the whoop. We're not the wings. Culture brothers. NBA 2023 Western Conference predictions by the homie Hoops Report. Shout out Anonymous J for giving this to us. Appreciate it, bro. Go, li go listen to Anonymous J's music. Yeah, man. I believe. Like, comment, subscribe, share. dislike, All that. bad comments. All that. DM us, tell us we suck. Link in the description for our social medias. Let's get it. Is it Luca's time to shine in the West? Will Nikola wow. Jokic finally <laughs> dominate the league with a healthy roster? He's sick. Can LeBron uh, uh, something happen again? No. Are the LeBron Warriors James. going to repeat? Oh, they go. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 NBA season is just around the corner. And with that being said, let's get into my Western Conference. Demetrius Morant, guys. Predictions. You gonna use that man whole government, bro? I am. I'm gonna start this video off with the four teams which I believe will take the bottom seeds. Come from on, bro. Don't do this. Don't, the do, this. Don't Smurfs, do this to us, dog. The Jazz, Don't the do Rockets, this to us, dog. and OKC. Why, why you gotta do this to us, Each dog? Each of these organizations are going through a rebuild and Thank won't you. be making money. Why are we last season. place? We have shit. The Spurs just traded away their only all-star in DeJounte Murray for a host of future first round picks. We and have a 34-year-old Danilo Gallinari. The Don't Jazz just traded away both Donovan Coleman. Mitchell and Rudy Gobert for Coleman. a few pieces and a boatload of first round picks. The Rockets are trying to build around their 2021 second overall pick in Jalen Green and the OKC Thunder. Well, Jalen Green's good. Come on, they man. They could have made some noise this season, but Sorry. their lottery pick and Chet Holgram will miss the entire season with a foot injury that happened this over the man's? summer. The thing is, too, with Victor yeah, Wimbenyama we, that's what we're trying to get, Wimbenyama. NBA draft, each of these teams won't dare to win too many games. Otherwise, they'll be missing out on the opportunity to potentially draft one of the most hyped prospects since LeBron James. Hey, Lakers, go ahead and take this L again, bro. Anyways, next off, I want to go The Pelicans is going to get y'all pick. Oh, yeah, Five uh, teams uh, are going to be fighting for the four playing spots, but Disney. unfortunately, one of them isn't gonna make it. I swear. At number seven, I got the Minnesota Timberwolves. Okay. They drafted. They basically traded for Rudy Gobert to do that. I'm athletic, I'm talented to dog and Anthony Edwards, Edwards in 2020, who will most up. likely become an All Star in 2023. Yeah, then, when you combine him with D'Angelo Russell, Carl Anthony Towns, and Rudy Gobert, you have a starting Rudy lineup Gobert. with four All Stars. Why? Why? Are you the doing last that? few times a team had four All Star caliber. Because that man wanted to be keep instead of play in the playoffs. The prime, they went on to win championships. This team can't be overlooked. How this group will actually mesh said. together on the court has yet to be seen, but man, yeah. for the first yeah, they, time they since the Kevin Garnett era, Timberwolves fans have a team they can legitimately cheer on. At number eight, <laughs> I got the Los Angeles. Bro, we're not about to do that to the Jimmy Butler. No. And <laughs> Minnesota Timberwolves, they were good. Lakers. LeBron, AD, and Westbrook were championship favorites last season, but they ended up missing the play in tournament. This year, they had hey, a chance an improvement to last year. and if they can stay healthy, they will. LeBron, although he'll be like 38, is still a top five player in the he's league. He's only 19. Anthony Davis, when he's healthy, could play like a top five player on any given night. I don't agree with this and then there's Russell Westbrook. This is disrespectful. Despite everything that happened last season he's still a strong athletic guard oh God. if he just plays to his strengths becomes a bit more efficient and decides to play defense he could still be an impactful player the lakers also sure. recently hired darvin ham to the most toxic fan base ever be their new head coach he was an assistant coach to mike budenholzer and the 2021 you Milwaukee said russ is not going to be better who y'all going to trade him for oh, if he's this really bad who y'all going to trade him for organizes this fair, group bro. to compete in this upcoming season at number house. nine, I got the Trash New Orleans video. Pelicans. Brandon Ingram, good. Zion Williamson, L L and CJ McCollum. Man, I think y'all gonna be the nice seed. Honestly, seen how this Pelicans gonna out. be better than you. I mean, this team made the playoffs last year without their 2019 mm -hmm. number one overall pick. And although it's been forever since we've seen him play in an actual game, just remember, in his second season, 
the dude averaged 27 points while shooting 61% from the floor. Now, how do you do that? Those That's are literally good. Shaq like numbers, and uh, I'd hate to be the one guarding him. No, the really. Pelicans have a good coach in Willie Green, and with their big three, they'll definitely be competing for a playoff spot. At number 10, Devontae I got Graham. the Portland Trailblazers. You hate that man. Now, so much. at first glance, it looks as if they're in the rebuilding mode at the moment after trading hey. away McCollum oh, okay. and signing 23-year-old Anthony Simmons to a four-year, $100 million contract. Dang. If you look closer at the roster, however, you see that. a team that's in their they prime. They, they, they just be paying anybody. They paying Led by man, a superstar in Damian Lillard. They recently acquired Jeremy Grant and Gary Payton II. All right, bro. What, what's going on with that, bro? And they still have- You know man, what that look like. That, that man. You don't, don't say it, but you know what that look like, bro. That man want to be vanilla ice cream so bad. Bro. <laughs> no, I, you know what that is, bro. It's right here. Crazy. Yusef Nurkic, Josh Hart, and a host of other role players. They'll be playing in the play-in tournament, and with Dame time leading them, there's always a chance they can upset whoever they face and grab the eighth seed. Anyways, go last off here, we have the Sacramento Kings at number 11. They're never good, They don't bro. have a horrible roster, but it's They're just an organization good. that I don't trust. No, I mean, real. did you know that currently, the Kings hold the record for postseason droughts? Yeah. Since 2007, Sacramento has missed 16 consecutive playoffs, and given how stacked the Western Conference is, I don't see that changing in Bro, 2023. The Kings got to be the most side, poverty though, franchise I'll in the I'll probably draft Demontis Sabonis into my fantasy basketball team. All right, now let's move on to the remaining that's a, teams. That's a hot take, but all right. At number six, I got the Phoenix Suns. I know they were the number one seed last season, but Chris Paul right, is now 37 and was exposed on defense last year in the playoffs. He's a con. Every team is going to do exactly what the Pelicans and Mavericks did, which is attack Chris Paul when he's on defense. The Suns, they also did so much trash talking last season that they're going to have a target on their backs this year. I see them as the sixth seed for the 2023 season. That's your best shooting guard in the At league. At number five, I got the Memphis Grizzlies. Draymond Green said on his podcast that it's going to be a lot harder for them to win now that they're expected to. Teams are going to be circling what? them on their calendar and on a nightly basis. What does that mean? They're going to have teams coming. People, you got people, they got Target on their back now. Oh, they were, okay. Well, that rah-rah. They got Target on their back. So no, I agree with him. They, they got more pressure. Them hard. It's going to be harder here. This is Ja Morant's year to shine, though. If he can handle the pressure, Rise which comes along with expectations, and will his team to where they were last season, or even higher, then he would have truly launched himself into superstardom. I don't see that happening, however, and I got them here at number five. Wow. At number four, I got the Dallas Mavericks. That's high. Most okay. teams have a core of a few players. I like, mean, the war- They got worse. Christian Wood? Christian Wood is a good fit. He's better than, he's a better fit with Luka than Porzingis was. Jay, Jay, Jay James, come, like come on, bro. What's up, bro? I'd let him walk. Like, have step. But they got worse. The Knicks were going to pay him $100 million. Like you said, make a wish, kid, bro. They're going to be the fourth seed. Why, why, the you bring, why are you bringing up old stuff, bro? Draymond. The Lakers have LeBron, AD, and Westbrook. The Bucks have so Giannis, Middleton, and Holiday. But for the Mavericks. For the AT. Oh. Uh. They have a core consisting of uh, one player, Luka Doncic. One. This actually reminds me a lot of the pre-Miami LeBron when the Cavaliers were just a one-man army with one man putting the team on his back. Luka is doing the same thing at the moment. He is the Dallas Mavericks. Anyways, yeah. unlike last season, he looks to be in great shape going into the 2023 season, but still, it's really unfortunate that at the moment, the Mavericks haven't been able to acquire a second or third all-star because when they do, they're truly going to be a perennial championship contender. Now, he's a guy you got to get a play to play along with, right? You got to get somebody who plays along with him. So yeah. basically somebody who plays defense and is, a, and is good off the ball. I think a perfect fit for him would be like a Paul George type player. Yeah, big thanks. Uh, right now though, I'm gonna I'm switch the Grizzlies and Mavericks. I'm sorry, the Grizzlies just the Mavericks. They got a they got a better team. Luca is better than anybody on the Grizzlies. Oh, thanks. But they got a better team. So I, I, team. I don't I don't see 
them being the, the four seed over the Grizzlies. I see the Mavericks making the play. With Luka at the helm. Well, I don't know about that. I do. Yeah, you Luka, think y'all are better than them? Yes. As oh. a team, on paper, yes. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, we'll at see. number three, I, I got wrong. the Los Angeles Clippers. That's low. Last That's season, from me. with Kawhi missing the whole year. Uh, and- he might well manage. If he well manages, mm, they need a third seed. Maybe the Paul, if he plays seventy games, there's no reason they can't the, be the first seed. The first seed. George only playing in thirty-one games. The, if the, he plays seventy games, they're going sixty and ten with him on the, on the court. Clippers still had the eighth best MVP record why? in the West, but were ousted he in the play one. tournament with a two-time oh, finals. Oh, don't don't let him get one. Don't let him get one, chat. We don't want to. We don't want to have that debate. Who's better, him or KD? Why gets the MVP? It's gonna, be it's, it's gonna be clearly it's Kawhi. It's gonna be clearly Kawhi. His two rings are better. Mean he got more. two DPOIs. Let him get MVP. MVP and Kawhi coming back healthy over. and with a six-time All NBA selection, PG thirteen back in the mix. This team Woo. is definitely going to rack up okay. wins. The Los Angeles That's Clippers are not only top heavy with <laughs> their two stars, but they're deep as well. I see them taking up the three seed. At number That's two, good. I got the defending champions, the Golden State Warriors, mm. taking up the two seed. Was he putting in one? This team is completely loaded and will probably have five oh, wow, all-star like caliber players. I was trying to figure that out. Steph, too. Clay, Draymond, we'll Wiggins, we'll and see, Poole. Shit. We'll see, bro. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Nigga, watch the video. Uh, hold up, bro. Hold up, hold up, <laughs> watch the video. Hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. Shh, 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 shh. Be quiet, bro. I'm stressed out. The Nuggets. Oh, wait. And the thing is, three stressed of these out, all-stars are going to be stressed. playing for a the contract. Nuggets. So you know they're going to be giving it their all. The Warriors are going to have way out of pocket. I'm sorry. Oh, season because I got them at the third seed. integrate Wiseman, Kaminga, and Moody into the rotation. The seed, but once they get over that Ooh, hump, would everybody they're going to be a force Yes, bro. They were healthy in 2020. This what team has championship DK. They got a top 10 so player of all time. But now it fits your criteria. They're deep. I never the said the bubble didn't count. Is officially back, and teams really can't take a break I mean, when they're facing the war. LeBron got four rings, right? Last time I checked. You and me agree the bubble count. Lakers haters I mean, disagree. They have a championship starting five. Then coming off the I say it's weird to rank. Three talented, yeah, athletic, and big lottery but that don't picks mean led by a player yeah. who plays exactly like the 2015 MVP version of Steph. They're also being coached by Steve Kerr, who has nine rings five as a player Jesus. and four as a coach this warriors team knows exactly what they need to do to win it all and i have them as the second seed in the west at number one i got the denver nuggets this team oh, has two-time to reigning oh, no, mvp fine. nicola <laughs> let, 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 let they got a healthy <laughs> jamal murray Explain who went toe-to-toe to me, with donovan mitchell in the 2020 playoffs and if michael porter jr can come back healthy let me go back real quick what did he just say mvp nikola jokic they got a healthy Jamal Murray, who went toe to toe with Donovan Mitchell in the 2020 playoffs. Okay. That was and a good if Michael series. Porter I thought he Jr. can come him. back healthy, no, he didn't. Nah, then no, they were back sheesh, and the Nuggets are a bit old. I thought Donovan Mitchell actually got the better one. Yeah. Now Just and they'll the be playing with a chip on their shoulders. Nicole a few right. years ago, they were playing with house money, but now they're a legitimate contender. In the 82 game regular season, they're gonna dominate, and I see them taking the number one seed in the West. How are we doing so far? Are you agreeing? Let me say something real quick. I think Jokic is top five in the league. Top five. Two MVPs in a row, and he's like not in some people's top ten. I'm like, I think he's in my top ten, but I, I look at it like this: everybody in my top five, they're a champion, and a Finals MVP. That's something I can't say about Jokic. One of them is just barely one. <sighs> this list. Stop hating on Steph, bro. No, I love Steph. Moving on here, I'm, like I'm going to go over the Western Conference postseason. For the play-in tournament between the 7th and 8th seed, I see Anthony Edwards playing like a superstar yeah, and ultimately leading the Timberwolves over the Los Angeles Lakers. <laughs> then for the 9th and 10th seed battle, I see Zion imposing his will against the Trailblazers and getting the win for New Orleans. Then for the last play-in game between the Lakers and the Brown Pelicans, goes nuts. I got the Lakers Brown's winning a, a close thug. game. LeBron can't let his team miss the playoffs. Yeah, about to lose to the Nuggets, bro. Especially if Anthony Davis is healthy and in his prime. Oh, I can't wait now let's move season. into the playoffs. 
the Nuggets are gonna want revenge against the Lakers for losing to, yeah, the, lose to the Nuggets. And I see Nikola Jokic having a monster series and ultimately derailing LeBron and his squad in six games. Next off, we have <laughs> the Warriors six, versus six. the Timberwolves. This Gosh. is bad luck for Anthony Edwards in Minnesota. While I see them capable of pulling an upset against most teams in the league, Not the I don't see that happening against the Warriors. The Warriors are too disciplined, too experienced, and I see them winning this series in five games. Okay. The Clippers and Phoenix are next. Uh, this should and, actually be a five. great series to watch. Four. I mean, both teams have stars, both teams are deep, and both teams are well coached. Still though, I ultimately see Kawhi and Paul George attacking Chris Paul on every possession, exactly. which will wear him out and Clips make him and ineffective on offense. And that's that. I see the Clippers winning this in five games. Clips in five. Too Finally, for the last first round series, we got Luka Doncic going up against John ja Morant and the Grizzlies. Ooh, Mavericks Luka seven. is only 23 years old at the moment, but already we've seen what he's capable of in big moments. Luka. I mean, this man took out the number one seed from last hey, season. Hey, let Ja beat him. We don't want to have that conversation Alone, though. In the year before that, he almost took out Kawhi and Paul George single-handedly. Ja Morant is going to do everything he can to advance, but in the end, I'm I see the Mavericks winning this one in six games. Six? Next off, we have the Western semifinals. And first, What's we have the Nuggets thing? versus Dallas. Wait, Man, this is the same dude who said they was going to lose in the first round. That's why. He's consistent. As good as Luka is, I don't That's see him beating a trio of Jokic, Murray, and MPJ. This will perhaps be one of the most entertaining series to watch in 2023, and I see it being a close series with the Nuggets prevailing in seven games. Yeah. Luka that Clips and Warriors is going to go seven games. Ungodly. That's going to be the best That's series of the year. Like and I would decade, love to bro. watch yeah. the two of them go at it in a head-to-head -head matchup. Yeah. For the other series, we have the Warriors and the Clippers. They're both I already deep. detailed why I think the Warriors would destroy the Clippers in this video here, but just to summarize it, it comes down to Wiggins being able to nullify Kawhi and Curry being unstoppable. Right. The what? Clippers won't have nullify? an answer for the reigning finals MVP, and although Draymond himself said that the if Clippers- If Kawhi goes on, on Wiggins, he's not, he's, not, he's not gonna be a factor, bro. He's not a factor. Kawhi on Andrew Wiggins, is he's not a factor, bro. Are a threat. Who's not a factor? Andrew Wiggins is not a okay, factor. Okay, they said no, Andrew Wiggins is going to lock up Kawhi. Oh, that's cap. I see the oh, Warriors winning this one that's in a lot. five that's games. That's too much cap. Five games? And finally, wow. we have the Warriors versus the Nuggets. Nah, dog. In 2022, tripping. Steph tripping, Curry bro. and the crew easily dispatched them in five games. But with Jamal Murray and MPJ in the he got them going to the it'll finals? make things infinitely more difficult. Wow. If Jamal Murray goes off like how he did against the Jazz and has multiple 50-point games, then sheesh, He's get your popcorn ready. Anyways, Fred with the matchups, I see Steph Curry and Jordan Poole constantly attacking Jokic in pick bro. and roll situations to create mismatches. I see Wiggins guarding Murray and Draymond guarding MP. Apparently, Andrew Wiggins is an all world defender now. Hey, I also see the Nuggets locking up Kawhi and Jamal Murray. Sometimes from? they'll feed Jokic in the post, sometimes Murray will take over in pick and roll situations, right. and sometimes Porter Jr. will play bully ball. The two teams are going to split the first four games, but then ultimately, I see the Warriors making the necessary adjustments needed to win, like how they did against the Celtics, and ultimately, they'll win games five and six, and just like that, they'll be back in the finals with a chance to repeat as champions. This is how I see the 2023 Western Conference playing out. What do you see? Let me know. Hey, man. Nah, bro. He <laughs> said nah, bro. Nah, bro. I say the Clippers gonna be in the Western Conference Finals, bro. I got, I got them coming out the West. They got too much going for them. Do I want to admit it? No, I don't. Hey, hey, hey the Warriors is a safe choice. Say the Warriors, yeah. I wouldn't disagree. I with wouldn't you. like trip on it. But me personally, the Clippers five games. They're gonna destroy them because yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew Wiggins. You tripping, bro? You tripping, bro? Andrew Wiggins is not locking up quite. No. Just because he did it in one, two, maybe two regular season games, nah, that's not doesn't happening. mean he's gonna do it in a playoffs. That's do you know who that is? That is the claw. That's the fun guy, bro. That's the fun Who's guy. gonna go Paul George? Clay, but not anymore. You gonna put Jordan Poole on him? 
Clippers in five if you put Jordan on full on. Oh no! Hey, <laughs> culture gang, culture gang, culture gang. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, dislike, bad DMs, bad comments. We love all the attention. Let us know your thoughts. All publicity is good publicity. Leave your comment down in the thoughts. Thank you to Anonymous. The thoughts? <laughs> yep, leave your comments in the thoughts. Thank, thank you, thank you to Anonymous J. Uh, this has been Jerron. Mo. And we...